Hello, everyone. Welcome to the class of Highway Survey and Design. I am your teacher Song Liu. Today, I want to discuss with you about topics related to water. Properly handling the conflict between water and highways is a crucial issue in highway design. Reducing the erosion of highways by water will increase the lifespan of the highways. Nature is a normal ecosystem. But road construction undoubtedly disrupts the original ecosystem and interrupts the natural water flow. Hence, the need to compensate nature by constructing highway drainage systems to complete the ecological water cycle. Good drainage design means properly handling the interaction between people, vehicles, highways, and the environment, ultimately achieving harmony. Let's first take a look at a few sets of pictures. This riverside highway, due to lack of proper slope protection, is constantly eroded by water, undermining the subgrade and reducing its load-bearing capacity, leading to water damage. Now, what happened here? The conical slope protection at this bridgehead has been eroded by water. Significantly reducing its load-bearing capacity and making the bridge's safety a concern. Water damage to highways is a common problem worldwide, and a severe natural disaster caused by floods damaging highways and bridges. In China, with its vast territory, complex hydrologic conditions, and variable climate, various natural disasters occur frequently. Causing significant losses to local economic construction and people's lives and property. These natural disasters also pose a serious threat to the normal operation of transportation infrastructure, such as highways, bridges, and tunnels. Especially, the harm caused by flood disasters is particularly prominent. Every year during the flood season. Direct economic losses caused by flood-damaged highways and bridges amount to several billion yuan, and the trend is increasing year by year. Slope instability, collapse, cracking of upper structures, subsidence and sliding of subgrade. Although these are geological diseases, the main influencing factor is still water. Highway slopes are complex engineering geological bodies, with many factors affecting their stability, among which rainfall, surface water, and groundwater are some of the most active and primary factors. If subjected to long-term water erosion. Retaining walls and slope protections may collapse, causing engineering accidents and casualties. Rainfall can also cause landslides, with rainwater seeping into slopes and causing collapses. Without long-term observation and early prevention, irreversible losses can occur. Highway retaining walls eroded by water can reduce multi-lane roads to single lanes. And unstable foundations can lead to traffic safety issues. Therefore, in treating these geological diseases, the key issue is to first handle the water problem. Hence, the subgrade needs to be drained. The purpose of drainage is to eliminate as much as possible the surface water within and flowing towards the subgrade, keeping the subgrade dry, solid, and stable. Thus, ensuring its stability, drainage must meet the requirements of design, construction, and maintenance. In this chapter, we mainly discuss three common types of surface drainage facilities: side ditches, drainage ditches, and intercepting ditches. Side ditches are commonly used in excavation and are set on both sides of the road, with trapezoidal, rectangular. Triangular and shallow ditch shapes. Rectangular side ditches are generally suitable for second-class and lower rock ditches, occupy less land, and require covers when space is limited. 
for second-class and lower highways with soil ditches. Trapezoidal shapes are generally used, as the gentler outer gradient of the ditch provides better stability. As shown in the picture, the blockage phenomenon occurs when stones on the slope fall down and fall into the ditch. How would you solve this situation? In such cases, we can solve the problem by adding covers, setting stages for heaping debris, or reinforcing the slope. Shallow dish-shaped ditches are aesthetically pleasing with streamlined designs, but their design and construction are more complex, and they occupy more space. They are rarely used, typically on highways with high landscape requirements or sections prone to snow and sand accumulation. Triangular ditches, due to their low drainage capacity, are rarely used and are generally suitable for low embankments. Good design can provide a pleasant experience, solving drainage problems while being safe, beautiful, and elegant. However, designs that are not adapted to local conditions and blindly imitated will bring many safety hazards. Guess how good the driver's skills are? Situations like those in the picture are caused by unreasonable side ditch sizes, leading to awkward scenarios. Of course, we must try to avoid many such unreasonable design situations. Water from side ditches generally flows into drainage ditches, which are further from the subgrade. The longitudinal slope of the ditch bottom should not be less than the minimum drainage requirement of 0.3%. If the longitudinal slope is greater than 3%, we need to reinforce it to prevent water erosion. If the longitudinal slope is steeper than 7%, we should use drop structures or rapid flow channels for drainage. The length of the drainage ditch should not exceed 300 meters. If the drainage is too long, it will cause water logging, preventing timely drainage. It is worth reminding that the relationship between water and the subgrade should not be mishandled because the drainage ditch is far from the subgrade. Do you think the water has been drained in this situation? The water on the road surface seems to have been drained but it ultimately flows towards the subgrade, causing damage. This is a field case. We should learn from this and avoid such changing the form but not the substance situations. Achieving the highest level of safety, intrinsic safety. When mountain water systems are well developed and rainfall is heavy, water rushing down from the mountain directly erodes the slope causing mudslides. At the same time, if the water flow is too large and the side ditch's drainage capacity is far from sufficient, it will directly damage the subgrade and surface, leading to traffic safety issues. In such cases, we should set up catch water drains at a certain distance outside the mountain subgrade slope. Their main function is to intercept water flow and they should be as perpendicular to the water flow direction as possible to maximize interception, thereby reducing the drainage pressure on the side ditch. If the intercepted water flow is too large, we also need to protect the slope to reduce water erosion. Of course, we should also avoid situations like this. Without setting up catchwater drains above to properly guide the water, the tunnel entrance becomes a water curtain cave, turning into a big joke. Therefore, in highway design, we cannot design in isolation. We must adapt to local conditions, consider comprehensively, and properly handle the conflict between water and highways, creating a harmonious ecosystem for people, vehicles, highways, and the environment. This is what makes an excellent design. Through the above learning, 
I also look forward to excellent design works from my classmates. That is the content of this lesson. Thank you all. Thank you.